into your own medical future. You're gonna find out exactly what could kill you unless you start doing something about it right now. That's why today's show could save your life from an operating room that looks like a Starship Command Center to a new test that can give you an advanced look into your own medical future. We're gonna reveal the secrets to living longer. But before we get started, it looks like Dr. Orton is Where's Drew? AWOL. Yeah. Where are you, dude? Uh, Drew, are you gonna do the show with us today? I'm running a little late. Travis, I'll be right there. <laughs> Where? Is what? What is this? Oh my god, that is so cool. What in the world? Stop. Wow, that is cool. Um, Drew? What is I'm Drew? right here. <laughs> How are you? What are you doing? I'm the, I'm the robot doc now. You can call me R2 Drew 2. This is my <laughs> alter <laughs> ego. R2 Drew 2. I don't know. You may be more like a Chewbacca to me. <laughs> <laughs> are you doing? running this thing right now? I am running this thing right now. I'm there with you. How does it work? Well, I can be in two places at once. Well, actually, it's, it's a laptop computer connected to the internet. It has a shifter here that I can drive the robot, and uh, it has a speaker, and it has a video cam, so I can see everything, I can talk to you, I can hear what you're saying to me, a true interaction. So this is a way for you to be remote and talk to virtually anyone, including a patient. I can really see using this for post-ops, for example, if I couldn't be there, I could have somebody take a look at something and I really could make a pretty good impression of how they're doing immediately after surgery. I can wow. see this as use in other countries where they need other doctors there and the doctors can help, you know, treat remotely. Yeah. I think or that's or a phenomenal. Specialist can help get a yeah. second opinion from a remote location. I'm always playing with my patients, so I wonder if it can do this. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Herbert Rogoff is here with us. He's a critical care specialist. He's already using the robot doc in his practice. Thanks for being here. Sure, yeah. pleasure. Yeah. Okay. Not real common yet for, for us docs to be using the robot, but you're using it. You're using it in the ICU, the ER. How has it helped you? It's helped me to be able to help patients that normally can't get specialists like myself. And I could be there, I could examine the patient. The only thing I can't do is touch them, but I could listen to their hearts, their lungs, console the families, answer questions, uh, be available to the nurses. They could teach. It's uh, absolutely amazing what you could do. In fact, some places that don't have the specialists in rural communities, everyone needs to have one of these right. in their hospitals. And I think the country needs to realize that the level of care anywhere in this country should be the same. It gives us access and uh, levels the playing field uh, medically. It's so amazing. Absolutely That's fascinating right. technology. I want to thank uh, R2 Drew too, <laughs> but Drew, if you don't mind, I'd, I'd rather have the real you for the rest of the show you if did. you're willing to come on out. Here I come. All right. <laughs> didn't want you to do the show without me. We didn't want to do it without you either. As much as we liked your R2 Drew 2 counterpart. Good job. It's not Drew. It's not the real Drew. 